Someone without a trip to Glassdoor. I've been going since, well, since the days you could bunk it for nothing if you had the bottle. Yeah, we lost our old tent once in a mudslide. A mate of mine, Chugger, got trench foot, cost him a couple of toes. Oh, no way. Camping's for Muppets. These days, we get a Winnie Bago. Backstage passes, drinking with the bands, and those boys can drink. <laughs> I was going to get another, but uh, Nathan said to not keep you out late. Oh, what is he like? I'm not going to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> well, some of the lads are coming round, did he not say? And he didn't run the hoover round? Uh, he probably just forgot. Look, I know that you said it's cool about the camera and stuff, but surely you use it for work as well. You're in the same business, aren't you? Well, I'm more on the investment side. My main game's security. Talking of which, uh, it's time I escorted you home. What's it to be? Number nine, boss? I will if you will. I wouldn't know. Your breath of fresh air, you. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Hey! Oh, sorry. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello. Um, Neil, do you fancy a beer? Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. Oh, have you been slipping in the happy pills? Oh, what? He's, he's a teddy bear. No, I, uh, I don't know what I was getting so worked up about. He's really easy to talk to. Listen to, you mean? Well, yeah, he does like the sound of his own voice, but he was so cool about the stuff getting robbed. I explained... Hey. You have played a blinder. <laughs> <laughs> Let Mel listen to his stories for a bit. Yeah, but not for too long, though, eh? We need to keep him on side. I told you he's not going to fall out with you about it. We still need to work out how to pay him. The bank won't help. We need to buy more time. Hey, work your magic. <sighs> OK, but if I feel like I'm literally going to die of boredom, then I'll rub my ear like this and you can come and rescue me. Deal? <laughs> Deal. Don't laugh. <laughs> Look, as soon as this rabble have gone, you will have my undivided attention. <laughs> hey. You all right? Yeah. Oh, where's mine? Um... I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. A really good lemon curd should always be more tart than sweet. Oh, no, I'm but so sorry it... to interrupt. Um, you said that Bethany was upset. Well, she saw you and Gary going into the flat next door to the community centre. The pair of you look so happy. Well, ever since when has that been a crime? Oh, she's just been giving us hell, Norris, for months. Mm. She's made us worried sick. Oh, well, it was ever thus. I mean, I remember bringing home a, a 45 of Elvis's hound dog, and that made my father physically sick. This is a bit more serious. Yeah, she's moved in with an older man. Much older. She used to be fitness mad. Now she's drinking up till all hours. I mean, school's a distant memory. Well, didn't you try to stop her? Yeah, everything. Pleading, bribing, punishing. Gary's come to blows with a boyfriend. It's a big mistake. But why would she resent you being happy? Are you home? She thought they had their future all planned out without her. Oh, it was a dump. It was tiny. We only went to view it so that Bethany could have a room of her own. I think you should call and tell her. Tell her what? That the world revolves around her. That when she says jump, you say how high. Norris. Well, it might sound harsh, but perhaps stepping back and giving her a bit of space is precisely what's brought Bethany here today. Yeah, I've always had fast motors, even when I was your age. Yeah. I'm just going to... Um... Well, sit down, Blondie. Take the weight off those pins, eh? <laughs> Don't let Nathan see you doing that. Doing what? This? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that backstage bar. What? We can't hear a word each other saying. <laughs> Mel? Mel, can you turn the music down? Wait, it's a party. Is she for real? It's got next door. Uh, no, no, we're fine. Let's just do it. Oh. <laughs> 